guys, me Tony. I'm gonna watch the 20 most messed up children drawings. If you guys wanna go see it, uh, just think about children <laughs> and drawings. Okay. We've gone over some of the creepiest things start. kids have said. Now let's take it a step further and look at some of the creepiest things kids have drawn. Drawing. The person posted this has a cousin who gave it. Wait, guys. Always keep your eyes peeled when you're around here. You just never, never know. Okay, I just had to, like, go take care of something. This is a sorry. child who's not very fond of her. This was what she found on his desk. Hopefully she did babies at this kid again. This picture's titled, When You're Cut Up While You're Sleeping. I guess this brings up the question of the kid was supposed to be the one sleeping or the one doing the cutting. In this picture, we see some kind of tower titled, Crazy Big Tower. And there's a door on the side labeled, Suicide Door, with a line of seven orange figures waiting to jump out, apparently. And outside, waiting for these suicide lava jumpers guy. is apparently some kind of a lava guy who will surely burn these lava. guys to a crispy, painful death. Where will he get lava? Inside of the building, there's also no. some kind of giant man. It's not like Minecraft, you just get a bucket and, next and to him are his much smaller get victims. some lava. I mean, like, it'll burn what the bucket and burn your toes. <laughs> you will die, followed by a picture of a small person speaking to some strange orb-like object mm -hmm. under what appears to be a cave, or maybe a mouthful of razor-sharp teeth about to chew them to pieces. Who knows? If I caught a leprechaun, I would kill him. Sounds like this kid is growing if up I in a nice a inspirational household. Con, I would kill him. This is just disturbing. It seems in this picture, a little girl and a parent have apparently just committed a massacre in a coffee shop for no apparent reason, oh, with people cheering for them on the right. This kid thought it would be fun to draw a mutant man in a house. Hey, does that sound familiar? The girl next to me is pretty. I collect her hair. This one is actually oh, disturbing oh, oh. because the thought that's, of somebody sitting next to you is really cutting off your hair just to fulfill just your sick hair fetish. Just pretend someone behind you at class and just cutting your hair. hair. Everyone starts somewhere. A mother found this drawing made by her seven-year-old daughter on a okay, piece of yeah, napkin. Okay, this the mother the is the, the most figure. of my... Like, this gives me some nightmares sometimes. The one that's on the right is the creepiest thing I've ever seen. And I want to know what it is, like, it seems like she has no eyes and eyelids everywhere. That's the weird part. And it's, it's just so weird. It was supposed to be her, but the daughter actually revealed that the figure was what her imaginary friend looked like. This kid has apparently been taught that all atheists go My to hell. Is in I'm sorry, is uh, that meant to scare yes. kids into believing things? This one is rather disturbing, as we see a child and their father dancing about on his or her mother's grave. Even the son seems to be happy about her death. It has to make you wonder what was going on in this kid's life to be happy about their mother's death. This picture no doubt shows a mother about to maliciously run over her husband with her car. This could mean several things. Perhaps the kid's parents fight a lot, or perhaps the kid might be angry with his father, and this picture was only wishful thinking. This kid loves Satan. This one is really disturbing. From the demonic houseborn creature swarming the girl's bedroom to the fuck you Emily and die written in the background, you would think this would be creepy enough. But there's actually a horrific background story to this. Holy crap. When the parents asked the child who Emily was, he Ooh. stated it was his dead sister. This child did have a sister named Emily who died at the age of five when he was only With two years old. sisters? The cause of death was not disclosed. Neither was the reasoning for the child's apparent hate to his dead sister that he oh shouldn't have known about. Holy God, a damn. little girl drew a picture of her family with a mysterious That's unwanted okay, guest on the right. Mommy, when the girl, Julia, uh, asked for the picture to be hung on the fridge, her parents like wanted to know who the taking boy was. The one on the right that says the, the taking boy, the guy? He's, he's the almost like the night stalker. Away. You know him at I night? He the lucky parent like, found this one. Like, Here's a horrific scene in which oh the child God. who drew the picture has seemingly mutilated his family Ooh. and currently has his hands dug into his dog who has a gaping cut open hole in his back and judging by the smile on his face he's taking pleasure from doing it. this was posted on some kind of mental health board and since then the mother who posted the pictures online stated that the boy was being taken for therapy you gotta feel for any to find something like this this child, Joey, decided to write a letter to his apparently dead father. 
How are you Seems doing in hell? Love to Joey Dead and If his father is in fact dead. dead, and he assumes him to be in hell, it has to make you wonder if his father did something to warrant the hate of his own child. But that wouldn't explain for the- How a true god is god. Another unfortunate find for I will kill you. Of course, the Man. mother was the one to stumble into this- Oh my god, look at the figure down there! When confronted, the kid sat with his arms crossed, not saying a word. Hopefully this kid has been taken for some kind of help. As these kinds of pictures can be some of the biggest clues for future criminals, killers, and the like. Six-year-old boy had been crying to his parents every night that something would come out of his closet at night and stand at the edge of his bed. His parents decided to humor him one time and asked him to draw what the thing looked like. His drawing sent chills down his parents' spines. The grudge-like figure seems like it would be enough to give a grown man nightmares, let alone a six-year-old boy. There also appears to be something at the window. So I just my stupid so sister is just pictures drawn by kids. watching baby stuff. Some of these may seem innocent and even comedic, but there were definitely some that were truly disturbing. Sometimes you can get an idea of what kind of person a child is just from their drawings. Get it? Well, that's it. Um, well, thank you for watching, guys. See you next time on the next video. See you guys.